Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Bolg here, back again. This time I'm bringing you some more Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. Today I figured I would jump in and show you a few of my little tips and tricks as far as crafting goes. Uh, I've shown off a little bit of my gear right now. I have a level, level 50 weaver. This took a little bit of time to actually complete because it was expensive as hell. Anyway, looking at most of my gear, most of it's high quality. A lot of it's not socketed because I haven't exactly worked up the other crafts quite yet. But I'm actually working on that. Uh, I wanted to show you today what I do for 40 durability and a couple 80 durability items. I have almost all of the level 15 cross class skills. Uh, you can see I was out of fleece there. I'm going to go ahead and pick some up here in a little bit and uh, try some undead pelt. However, we will try twin thread right now. This one's a bit hard uh, because it's a one star thread and 40 durability are always a little bit tricky because getting a high quality kind of a hit and miss. It all depends on how successful your hasty touches are, uh, which is a 100% efficiency, 50% uh, success rate for improving high quality. You can see that I open up with the inner quiet and the steady hand and waste not. That's pretty much my standard for all 40 durability. It just seems to be the best results. Whenever you get down to 10 durability or 5, depending on whether you used a tricks of trade, uh, early on or not, you want to Master's Mend up to 30 again, you refresh the Steady Hand. You can choose to refresh the Waste Knot, which I like to do, but it's not necessary technically because you can always get another Master's Mend off depending on your CP. So, looking at this now, I'm up to 16%, and right here what I probably should have done I could have tossed a Waste Knot and just gone for another Standard Synth while the Inner Quiet stacks were still up. It probably would have gave me a bit uh, bit better result. However, I decided to use my Rumination, which consumes all your Inner Quiet stacks, drops your control back down, and allows you to get a, a chunk of CP. I believe it goes up to 60 max. It depends on how many successful touches you had. So, I, I, I kind of blew it a little bit there. But... It allowed me to get up to, I believe, 20%. Uh, oh, 17%. Alright, well. It's about the best that I've seen off of Twin Thread right now. Uh, the reason being, like I said, most of my gear is not socketed quite yet. Jumping forward, we're going to be moving on to the Undyed Felt. I actually picked up some fleece earlier, uh, a little bit off video. But we're going to do the same routine with the 40 durability to see, you know, a little bit of a difference as far as how well or not so well it'll go. Like I said before, the Twin Thread was a one-star recipe. For some reason, it kicks the high-quality bar's ass. But Undyed Felt, on the other hand, is a little bit easier to manage, uh, as well as all of the other 40 durabilities below it. You can see I popped an excellent at a 12 per I believe 12 percent. Can't quite see it that well, but anyway. Bam! 100 percent off of an advanced touch with a steady hand up. So that was an easy high quality. That'll happen from time to time. Moving forward again, I switched over to Carpenter so I can show you the 80 durability. I need to make some of these anyway to level up. You can see I'm level 40, it's a level 35 item. These items, for some reason, are pretty simple to high quality. Um, my gear is, I would say, in the 33 to 38 range right now, for the most part. With an 80 durability item, you want to go in with uh, Inner Quiet and Steady Hand. And you can use Waste Knight, but it's not exactly necessary. I use both little methods here, and both of them actually turn out working. So, what you do is Inner Quiet to Steady Hand. You can use Waste Knight if you choose not to, whatever. And then you jump the Hasty Touches. From there, once you get down to 10 to 20 durability, you're going to want a Master's Mend, depending on the scenario. Uh, keep in mind that you want to use Tricks of the Trade to regenerate CP as much as possible. Every time you get a good, make sure and use Tricks. As long as you're not capped out on CP, you want to be eating those for Tricks. Looking at it now, you've got a really high, high, ugh, high, high quality bar. That's uh, interesting. Jump to a 98%. I'm going to go ahead and finish it off. Um, might as well toss in another trick. Well, hasty rather. And you can see I jumped to 100%, which is all fine and dandy. That's a high quality wood makahakalaka. 
whatever you want to call it. I can't really pronounce it, so I just make fun of it. Sounds good, right? Alright, this time I'm going to use Waste Knot uh, on the first go. The only thing I don't like about it is if you actually pop any tricks while Waste Knot and Steady Hand are up, it's kind of like a blown turn. Um, like so. So I'm kind of leaning towards using just Steady Hand, tossing off Waste Knot for the AD durabilities. Yeah, I seem to stay more capped up on CP, and by the time that I actually use Master Min 2, I can usually toss in a steady hand, a couple hasty touch, and then finish with like three standard touch. I don't have the advanced touch right now because I'm only level 40 and you get it at 43. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, knock this one up. I believe we're going to get it to 100% as well. Um, the reason I'm making these is for triple turn in leaves, which I'll actually cover here in just a moment. The big importance with triple turn in leaves. With Weaver, I got all the way up to level 40, roughly, without doing any leave quests, because I didn't want to burn the allowances. Uh, they kind of piled up after a while, and I found out that it takes a little bit of time to eat them all the way, so I started actually doing them. Now with triple turn in leaves, uh, you can see leave quest master here. I'm in Gridania right now. Uh, this is a level 35 quest. Uh, Flintstone something or the other. He gets to turn in three of the Mahaka Lakadurkas. And if you turn in high quality materials, then you get triple the experience and guild reward. And on top of that, I have to turn in three at a time. However, you can see that I've made 18 high qualities. I made all of those in a row. Like I said, they're pretty simple to make. With 80 durability, you got a lot of flex room. When you turn in three at a time, you turn in three, and he says, Hey, do you have more? And you say, Sure. And you get to do it two more times. So if you use high quality, you burn one leave quest for essentially three quests. And yeah, it's amazing. You can see that one of these leave quests for me is, I want to say, roughly uh, 174,000 experience, which is a massive chunk no matter what level you are. Even if you're 49 going to 50, I believe it only takes 529,000 to level. So this would actually only take a few quests to close that gap. The material cost on this is extremely low. Uh, right now I'm on Balmung, and I believe the material cost hovers around maybe three to four hundred gil at best to make one so you're looking at about say a grand twelve hundred gil for the turn in however you're actually making about twelve hundred and change back from the actual turn in so you're breaking even and on top of that you're getting depending on what actually pops up like crystals that's a, a decent amount right there uh, those are actually that'll save you time and money uh, depending on whether you farm it or buy them and you get massive, massive amounts of experience here. You can see I'm actually in need of the crystals. But I'm going to go ahead and turn in one more time, nine of these, and we're going to go ahead and finish this level off going from 40 to 41 off of two quests, which is amazing. And afterwards, I believe I'm going to just go ahead and show you how easy it is once again to... I'm just going to make another one, just one. Um, not even really trying too hard, but I'm going to do it, and it's going to be a high quality, because that's just how I roll. So, things to keep in mind, Tricks of the Trade comes from Alchemy, I believe, uh, that you need that one. That one is paramount to, like, all crafting. It's amazing. You won't go back to not using it after using it. Uh, Waste Knot is kind of handy to have, uh, for 40 durability items especially. And outside of that, those are like the two major... Oh, Hasty Touch from Culinarian, I believe. That one's really awesome because it consumes no CP. It only takes durability. So that actually allows you to get all this rolling. So Tricks and Hasty Touch are the two primaries. With Waste Knot as like a secondary. Not necessary, but it's cool. And a little side note, I don't really get to use it a whole lot because I keep hitting 100% early. But Rumination, like I said, consumes all your stacks and restores a ton of CP. That could be very useful in getting you like another phase of Master's Men and getting you another 30 durability really quick at the end. 
So, those are just some things to keep in mind whenever you're crafting. Uh, if you just stick to triple turn in leaves, that is, they are awesome. You can't really go wrong with them. Take the time to craft yourself. Don't use quick synth because that is just horrible. It it cuts time, yeah, but you get like 50% of the XP, not counting the high quality bonus. So you're actually getting like a third of the XP. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up for today. If you liked the video, thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know what you think, uh, if you have any other you know things to say. And until next time, this is Bulga.